Uh, next, I'm, I'm really excited to bring in uh, a guest speaker here for a couple minutes from our investment innovation team. Uh, a lot of you folks might know him, Matthew Giovanazzo, uh, CFA charter holder on our team uh, and has extensive experience with working with our CIT and FlexPath offerings. So I wanted to bring him here today to talk a little bit about our, our latest and greatest with our CITs, with our newest offering with T. Rowe Price and how you can use that to uh, help win business uh, within your retirement practice. So, uh, Matt, I'll let you take it away from here. Thank you, Luke. Great to hear the updates and uh, good afternoon again, everyone. Thank you for joining. All right. So I want you to think about a time when you were meeting with a prospect and you were hitting it off. Kind of everything was going well. You were having fun. They were digging what you were saying. You probably ended up winning the business. Kind of put yourself in those shoes and think about, you know, of course, maybe there was some uh, a personal or relationship aspect there. Maybe it was happening on the golf course. Maybe you were whining and dining them or just bought them a new iPad or whatever. You know, some of that happens. But think about the content that you're talking about in those situations. Most of the time, that's when you're talking about something and adding value and really educating a prospect on some things that they weren't aware of before, right? We're providing some unique value um, that they may have been under service in particular areas before, right? Now, what's kind of obviously happened, we're all well aware of how competitive and saturated our market is nowadays. It's, it's getting harder and harder to frankly make a you know, appealing, unique case to prospects just because nowadays a two or $3 million plan, while it's not the largest, may have done a fee benchmarking and they're with a competitive record keeper and they recently renegotiated their fees and they've already, they're all over their investments and their lineup looks strong. It's getting harder and harder to kind of focus on the fees funds fiduciary and make a unique and compelling case there and really set ourselves apart from the competition. Of course, everything in the RPG system is designed to help you do that and, you know, have a better scorecard to pick better funds, right? And have better documentation around those processes and have things like well sense for financial wellness and fiduciary education and fee benchmarking using our two or three different systems there. All of that is available. All of that is frankly, um, again, largely being applied to many, many plans today. So. Most of you are likely familiar with RPG's investment innovation suite, essentially our suite of discounted CITs and custom targeting funds that are exclusively available to our network. Our goal for doing this seven years ago was to really leverage the 800 billion in collective RPG assets in a meaningful way. We are the largest retirement plan network or aggregator in the country. Um, that scale has always lended itself to credibility so that you could take that story to any prospect, any client and say, look, you know, the same technology that I would be using to service your plan is being used on billion dollar plans and is being used collectively on 800 billion in assets. So it lends itself to credibility, but it never really translated to actual, uh, you know, differences that a client could feel. And that's exactly what we've done with the, with the CIT. So hopefully most of you are familiar with this concept. Don't focus on the vehicle here. Focus on the exclusive pricing benefit. So to focus uh, on the first one here with Putnam large cap value, you see the fund scores at 10. The expense ratio of the share class that you can use in your client's plans is 29 basis points. So go to the column furthest to the right. That's a savings of 46% over the zero revenue sharing mutual fund. And that's what probably every plan, most plans are in today, right? Maybe if they have a hundred million in assets, they can negotiate that down. And there's a share, uh, you know, a share class that Putnam has that's lower cost than that. But you simply put have access to share classes that no other advisor does. So it gives you a fee lever that no other advisor has, right? So now we're kind of bringing you back into the fold. Um, some of those unique aspects, again, it's a, you know, while RPG is large, it, there's still only a very few um, set of advisors, subset of advisors that can access this share class. So that's really part of the intended purpose of this CIT suite and these, uh, you know, innovative investments that we partnered with these asset managers on is to give you weapons other advisors don't have. And it's a great story, as many of you 
likely already know. You know, we're kicking record keepers in the teeth for an extra one or two basis points. And a lot of the time, like the record keep is eight bits. Like you can get it to six, cool. You know, of course it's it's meaningful and important to do if you can do it. But to be able to save in this case, it's 26 basis points for that fund. You can do that across the entire menu. Again, it's a fee lever other advisors don't have. There's a ton of fat on the bone and savings that you can show. And frankly, it helps prevent our fee compression. You're reducing total plan costs and it allows you to keep your fees, you know, competitive, but not have to seek elsewhere for a fee lever, meaning your advisory fees. You can keep them the same and save elsewhere. So hopefully, again, a very powerful tool that many of you are already leveraging. We continue to grow and expand this suite. Newest on this list would be AB large cap growth. I'll get to T row in a sec, Luke. Sorry. Um, so AB large cap growth there, maybe fifth down 32 basis points. It's, it's a savings of 40% over the zero revenue sharing mutual fund. That's the newest addition to the suite. Um, we have a few more in process right now. So we're going to be launching JP Morgan large cap value in probably a month. Oh, PIMCO small cap value is new as well. Actually not yet launched, but it'll be ready in about a month as well. Tough to find a good small cap manager that remains open. We have high conviction in PIMCO. And then the other one that's on the horizon is American Century Ultra. So that'll be 34 basis points and another great large cap growth fund for you. Um, scoring a 10, large growth, it's very difficult to find consistent, good active managers. And we definitely found one with American Century. Which brings up one last point before I go to my intended topic, which is t row target dates, is there was actually a question from someone about, do you have an approved menu of funds? And this is a question that I get quite often from our PAG members, which is, you know, obviously doing investment research, it's a, it's a tall task. Ton of funds out there, ton of record keepers. You have a ton of clients to maintain those lineups for. And many advisors are looking for kind of guidance as far as who does RPAG view as the best managers out there. Obviously, what we've done here has been able to negotiate exclusive discounts for you to use with your clients, obviously. The process by which our team gets there really does not put expense first. This is the last step that we do in our CIT search process. And there's a great visual for this that I can share, but um, our team goes through a rigorous set of both quantitative and qualitative screens to arrive at this subset that you're looking at. So it really is price, or excuse me, Excuse me, it really is performance, score, and quality first that our 12 CFAs are going through to find the best managers in each asset class. Only once we've identified, say, the top five or six, then the fee negotiation starts. So this really is who our PAG views as the cream of the crop in terms of the best managers in each asset class. And then, of course, there's that additional benefit of you're able to access these at a price point that other advisors do not. All right, Luke, continue on. So those are obviously what I would consider like our standalone or single manager, really core lineup CITs. We have an extensive suite of targeted fund offerings as well. The first that we ever launched was FlexPath Index and FlexPath Index Plus, which are really custom BlackRock target dates. We've expanded those and built record keeper specific versions, which you see below, such as FlexFit Plus, FlexFocus with the record keeper listed there. Those are the same thing that essentially where you have a record keeping discount secured at each of those record keepers. So, you know, a lot of times, obviously record keepers will offer you um, a discount if you use their proprietary TDFs and you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I want the discount, but I kind of get an inferior TDF. This is a great um, way of delivering a top-notch TDF without having to sacrifice on quality. Um, American Funds TDFs, we rolled out a few years ago, exclusively available at Voya and Empower. Similarly, same kind of idea here, lower cost for the actual funds and also a record keeping discount at those providers, Voya and Empower. I'm really excited to announce the newest addition to this suite, which is T-Rose Target Aid Funds. Um, availability, as you can see, is most record keepers. It's essentially any open architecture platform, Fidelity, Voya, Empower, Principal, Hancock, a census, any open arc platform where you're going to run into issues in terms of availability is where you'd expect like a group annuity platform. So this is exciting for a few reasons. t -Row is obviously a very prominent, the largest active targeted fund manager in the industry. They are also 
very well known and, and have a very successful track record for strong performance. I mean, it's tough to beat T row. I don't think anyone does on pure performance. Um, so it's great to have an arrow in your quiver. The pricing benefit that you get, you can see there is 36 basis points for this exclusive share class. Their net usually is as low as 41 basis points. And depending on the share class, it's sometimes up into the 50s. So really a tremendous pricing lever, again, that you have in the TDF space, a good weapon with a high quality manager. This is their standard. This is a, a full clone of their off the shelf regular mutual fund, their flagship series, that fully active retirement, which is their aggressive glide path. Um, series. It's the exact same thing, just again, at a discount. Normally for this pricing, a plan has to invest 500 million into the funds. So think about that pricing benefit where you can take this to a $50 million plan. You know, that's a pretty good plan size, 50 million. They're not even close to what T Row would typically require for this share class. So really exciting addition. That's ready to trade today. We have agreements ready. Uh, most of you are probably aware of the process for adding CITs, but it is just the same as a mutual fund, frankly. Contact the record keeper. Let them know you want to add those funds. They'll uh, probably send you the CIT agreement, which just needs to be signed by the client. It's a very simple agreement. So a great addition to the, uh, the overall uh, RPG investment innovation suite. And maybe just one other slide to kind of wrap provide some context here, perhaps beat a dead horse here, but uh, one back loop. So I mentioned kind of that pricing benefit and the analogy that I frankly am very explicit in conveying to clients, look, you know, normally your plan would not qualify for this share class because you can talk this up in any way that you'd like, you know, because of the size and scale of my firm, because of my, my back office partner, RPAG, maybe they're familiar with our name because of you know, it's attached to the scorecard, et cetera. But, um, you know, reminding them you're able to access these price points because of me as your advisor. You know, there is the altruistic side of what we're doing, which is we're reducing fees where possible, right? We're helping people garner additional savings and retirement assets. That's great. I also want them to know you're getting this because I'm your advisor, right? And there is a competitive advantage and an edge to that. Um, whether you're using that in a prospect setting to win a plan or you're using it just to kind of re, you know, reassert your value to an existing client. This is another great example. As you can see, those brackets where it says firm clients receive, this is meant to be customizable as like a PowerPoint slide you can plug into your uh, you know, finalist deck or, or any of your materials. But this really is a cool example talking about Clearbridge Large Growth specifically that um, it demonstrates the pricing power. So I'll walk through this actually with clients starting on the bottom, the mutual fund is 62 basis points. Again, that's as low as a plan can get if they eliminate all revenue sharing and they go for that, you know, clean and transparent share class. One step up or rather down from that, from an expense standpoint is the street CIT. So this is this, the CIT that any advisor can access directly through Wilmington Trust. It's 58 basis points. And the way I explain that to a prospect is look, if your advisor knows what they're doing, they're probably talking to you about CITs since minimums have really gone down or been eliminated completely for CITs over the last few years. So you should really have at least documentation that you've explored CITs, if not adopting them. And in this case, you know, it's four basis points of savings. Why not take advantage? Um, most plans can't access this next level. But so this is actually the Coca-Cola plan. It's a $4 billion plan. They have Clearbridge Large Growth. They've negotiated directly with ClearBridge a CIT that's 45 basis points. So think about that. With scale comes leverage. They can throw their weight around and, and get a better CIT, better priced CIT than what the, the street is, right? Makes sense. I imagine just most plans are not $4 billion. Fact of the matter. But being a part of that $800 billion of collective RPAG assets, you're able to access it in a startup plan or a hundred million dollar plan, whatever it is, but most of which are probably going to be a fraction of $4 billion. at still a third less of what Coca-Cola has in their plan. So just a really good example of the, the pricing power of the whole suite. This, ex, this kind of example persists across other funds, whether it's PGM total return or Putnam 
large value or Putnam stable value or BlackRock mid growth, the same story persists uh, for a lot of those funds. This is just one that's kind of uh, a good example that I like to walk through with clients. So um, I think that's it for my session. Mainly wanted to focus on Again, T row TDFs and kind of just high level, how are we approaching these differentiators and making an impact and not only helping clients and participants, but also setting, helping advisors set themselves apart from the competition. And we're going to continue to kind of roll out these solutions and expand this suite so that you have more and more that you can leverage. Um, thank you for your time.